before we power this on, we also have to set up our keyboard and mouse. So here's our keyboard. Now, these are not wireless, they're wired. So that means we have to plug them in. And we're just gonna plug them into our USB ports. So they do come with something in the way, so just get it out of there. Same goes with this, comes with this. So just take this off, plug it in here. So there you go. So right now my mouse is plugged in and my keyboard. So we plugged in both things. So that's how your mouse is supposed to look like, plugged in. We have our electricity and now we can actually get started. Now before we get started, I also wanna show you since we're looking at the back, we have our power button right here. So that's where we're gonna have to press, that's your power button, it's on the right hand side of your computer. Just press down on it and it's gonna turn on. Obviously you need to plug it in. And remember that we have an HDMI input right here. We have more USB, HDMI, LAN, and then here we've got USB-C. On the bottom, we have a few other ports. But anyways, let's just go on and turn this on for the first time. So as mentioned, our power button's on the back. So we're just gonna press down on it. That's on the back of the right-hand side. And just press down until you guys see this. So it's just gonna start up. And don't worry, I'm gonna guide you throughout the whole setup. Make sure that you have enough time to do a setup. You are required to have some Wi-Fi in order to download some updates or just hook it up directly using an ethernet cable to your router. That's an option too. Now keep in mind that this is not a touch screen computer. It's a computer, it's a monitor, plus computer to all in one. To your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. So again, although it might look like it's something that will be touch screen, it's not. So use your mouse to select anything. In this case, we're gonna select yes for English, select any other language you like. We're gonna click, and then we're gonna have to check out which region we're at. So we can choose the US, Canada, or, or any other country as well. There's a bunch of countries in here. So just scroll through, find the country that you want, and then click on yes. Once you click on yes, it's just gonna load into the next step. And we're gonna stick around with the US. And right here, it's gonna ask us to add a secondary keyboard layout. We're not, because we don't need to, unless you guys need to do that. Maybe you type up in various languages. Remember that a lot of this stuff you guys can later on change anyways. This is just to get started really quick. And then choose your wireless. So here's your Wi-Fi. This is for me. So I'm gonna hook it up, connect, put in your password. Once you put in your password, Go ahead and connect and then just wait for it. Once it's fully connected, then go on the bottom right hand side. You guys are gonna see next, click on the bottom right hand side. It's gonna check for updates, it always does that. Now, although it's checking for updates, I always suggest after getting all this set up to check for updates again. Usually there are a couple updates, at least for your apps, there should be updates since this is brand new. And remember, this is for new users, so I'm assuming you guys haven't had one before. But uh, even if you guys had a computer before, like this one, or any other one for that matter, there is an option to import some documents and stuff, but you guys can always do that using an external hard drive. Would suggest always transferring information from one computer to another using an external hard drive, because that will always be your backup. And that way you have an actual backup of your files. Now you should see a message saying that your computer will restart, and it should restart. So you're gonna see this, a black screen, it's gonna restart. Once it restarts, this is the next thing. Again, you're just gonna see this. It's gonna load back in again, and it's gonna just keep checking for the update, basically installing the, any updates that it needs at this point in time. All right, so right now, since it's all done, we can just scroll down a little bit, look at all this information we do have to accept. We have no other choice anyways. And then choose your device's name. So this computer's name, you can be your name, company's name, any name that you like and make sure there's no spaces or any special characters for that matter. So once you type in, just going to next on the bottom right hand side, you can always skip that, don't skip it. This is something that you do need. And remember that almost everything that we're doing right now can be changed later on as well. So if you change your mind about any of these settings, we can always, always just change things up. Now it's restarting again. Well, I shouldn't say restarting, it's loading again. After just a little bit, you should see this loading again. This is a long process, so just make sure you guys have some snacks. <laughs> and now we can just sign in. So 
I do suggest always signing in. We're gonna sign in right now. And why do we need this? Well, everything's hooked up to our account. So if you don't have one, you do have the option right down here to create one. So to put in your personal information and then that's it. But if you do have an email already, such as Hotmail or anything like that, put it in right now, go into next and then keep going. So next will be on the bottom right hand side. Once you put in your email, it's gonna ask you to put in your password. So go ahead and put in your password, then click on the bottom right side where it says sign in. Once you've signed in, you're gonna see this. So you can restore any information you like, or you can go ahead and just go into next. So right now we have this stuff that I have from a previous PC. I can go do that, restore this PC. There's more options down here below. So if you don't wanna do that, you can go into more options and see what's going on there. We're just set up as a new PC. So I'm gonna set this up as a new PC. I don't need to restore anything. I actually don't want to put anything from here from my other uh, computers. So I'm just gonna set up as a new PC again. And there we go. So right now it's gonna ask me to create a pin. So I can go ahead and create a pin. So the pin could be something really easy, such as one, two, three, four, <laughs> or one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't really matter. It's all about how secure you guys want this to be. You guys don't want this to be secure at all. Don't make it. If you guys want it to be really secure, once you log in, then go ahead and do that. So just type in whatever you guys like. Then we're gonna click OK on the bottom right hand side. By the way, if you guys are restoring anything, it will take a couple of seconds, minutes, depends how much information. But for most of you, it's just gonna take a couple of minutes to restore that information to this one. And then you're not gonna have to do a few things that we are doing already here. All right, so next up is gonna ask you if you want this to use your information. So just your location, technically. I'm gonna choose yes, you guys can opt out. I'm gonna go ahead and answer yes. And that's because I do want, when I use Google Maps, well, not specifically Google Maps, but other apps that use my location, I want this to know where I am. I don't wanna to have to deal with changing those things later on, which by the way, we can always change this later on. Now find my device. You guys can turn this on and off. I would suggest always turning on and that's because if you ever get stolen or anything like that, you guys can go ahead and just find it yourselves. Anyways, uh, right here, this is to send to Microsoft. You guys wanna send a ton of information or only what's required up to you. I'm gonna do everything just so the products get better. Same thing goes with this, ink and typing. So for these settings, you guys can go ahead and send these this information to Microsoft, just again, for it to get better basically, um, or not. I'm gonna choose yes. That's basically just for your safety there. And then right here, we have even more data if you guys want to get or not get. So we're gonna go on and say, yeah, personalize is fine for me. Then let's apps use advertising ID. So a lot of you are gonna choose now, but I like personalized ads. So I'm gonna go on and choose yes, accept. Then right here, we can go on and just register. So just put in your first name, last name, email, and then your region and phone number. So again, once you put all that information, you fill it out on the bottom right-hand side, just going to next. You can scroll down actually, just in case you didn't see this information, important information. But anyways, click on next. All right, once you click on next, it's gonna ask you what type of emails you guys wanna get. For a lot of people, I know you guys don't like this, but it is good to provide your email or phone number, country serial number for them to register your stuff and use your information to register other things such as this antivirus and other stuff like that. So we're gonna go into next. From here, make sure you guys can always skip this stuff. This is just to customize this a little bit further for you. If you're gonna use this for entertainment, you can put a check mark there, uh, school, if you're gonna do this for business purposes, maybe your whole family, you can click virtually on everything, then click on accept, or click on nothing and just skip it. This will not make a huge difference, just gonna help you get it set up pretty fast. So right now it's gonna tell you to use your phone to scan this if you wanna answer your phone calls right here on your PC. So go ahead and do it if you have an Android. If you don't have an Android, you have to skip this. And right here, same thing. If you have an Android, this is useful because you guys can just Go ahead, whatever you're browsing there, you guys can just pick up here. So I'm gonna choose yes, and then going to next. If you guys don't have an Android, it almost doesn't even matter. Right here, it's gonna ask you if you guys want one month free of Microsoft Word and all that stuff, Microsoft Office basically. Yeah, so it does depend if you guys want this. 
So go ahead and click on continue. If you have it, just click on de decline. You guys can just install it later. Same thing was with this, I'm gonna decline as well. And then we're gonna go on to the next thing. By the way, we're almost done with the setup. It's, I know it takes long, but uh, it does also depend on your internet speed. All right, so at this point in time, there's nothing you can do. Just have to wait for it to download any updates available at this point in time and then just come back to your computer later on. If at any point your computer, let's say, turns off, don't freak out, maybe it's just restarting or maybe the screen just went off. So you guys just have to click around and then you should see the screen again. But right now, you guys can just let it be. Later on, you should see a screen like so and we're almost done. All right, so after just a little bit, just click, just put in your pin and then you're pretty much done with the whole thing. So right now it's just getting things and then we just select a few more things and we're done. So I promise right now it's gonna be pretty fast. And finally, we are all done. That would be it for this video. Right now you guys can see what apps you guys have already. And just get started using your computer. But that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.